still to come. NFL players are known for their toughness and moves on the field. But did you know some of them can really sing? Stay tuned. <laughs> over here has three Super Bowl rings. He played for the Oakland Raiders for 13 seasons and is known as Killer. I'm going to stay over here a little bit further. <laughs> Eric Johnson over here played for some of the nation's greatest teams, the Vikings, the Patriots, and the Jets, and he has got a serious voice to boot. Actually, both men do, and they've taken all their strength and power to the NFL players, players Gospel Choir. That is quite a mouthful. Yeah. And speaking of mouthfuls, you guys can really belt it out. Nice to have you here. Thanks for being here. It's great to be here. Thank all you. Right. Thank First you. of all, let's talk about oh, Rick, OJ, I'm going to call you, okay? That's yeah, all right. Right, Music is actually your career now. Yes. You have a CD out, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you are currently working on another one, I understand? Currently working on another one, and uh, I've also produced uh, many song, uh, written songs for and, and produced many projects that are out there uh, right now, and been very, very successful. So God, is, God has been really good to me. And at what point did you go from football to music? Well, ironically for me, uh, music was always my first love. And, uh, you know, people... You know, when I tell people that, they're like, how could you be make it to professional football and that be your first love? But that really, really was how it was for me. Uh, growing up, there was just, there was football and there was music. Uh, I have two uncles that were original members of Sun KC and the Sunshine Band. And nice. Yeah, my dad, uh, they had a studio right next door to my house. So I grew up learning those instruments. I grew up loving it. And, so uh, it was very natural then was, for you. Yeah, it kind of grew up for athletics and, and football. It kind of grew up natural for me. But uh, I had to make a decision going into college and my, my mom said, you know, you're the second oldest of eight kids, you know, I know you got music scholarships that are paying tuition that are coming your way, but I want you to uh, get a football scholarship that'll pay everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know? smart lady. So you can help us for the future and our other kids. And so I did that and it was, it was uh, you know, three, four years later, I find myself playing professional football and it's, that's, that was just hard work and, and just put my best foot forward and effort and everything I do. Yeah, yeah, clearly you do. And and Henry over here, killer. Do, do, do people call you that? Do they, I mean, when you play, do, yeah. do they really, they do, they call you that? Actually, since uh, <laughs> ninth grade. Since ninth grade? Yes. So I you am. can't believe everything you read on the internet because it said <laughs> high school and college. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> mostly college though, just, you know. It started ninth grade. I, uh, from freshman football, Really? The yearbook came out, and the coach who was the editor, they had a shot in the book, me flying in there, and had Henry Killer Lawrence, and <laughs> it's been killer ever since. <laughs> well, I like it, I gotta say. But you're a man who's, who's really good with transitions, too. Um, from what I understand, you really switched gears. It wasn't until your junior year at Florida A&M that you turned to offensive tackle. Is that, for, is that for real? That was the internet as well. Well, actually, what happened is throughout from ninth grade on up I played pretty much every position you know in football except quarterback and defensive back um, and I my first year I was a uh, tight end wide receiver defensive end and uh, the coach said you know man you want to play uh, football I said well, yes sir <laughs> he said well come on over here with me I was with the offensive line but I played one play the whole year one play the whole year so uh, during the latter part of the uh, first year Guys got hurt on defense, and I was All-American defensive end. So I played some defense in practice. So spring, I was back. I was at defensive end. Huh, huh. And um, so that's where it happened. And then a new coach came who saw me play a few plays at defensive end. Well, now you got a whole new career, though. Essentially, I mean, you're you're singing. You are tenor. I'm a baritone. Baritone. Bass. I do a little tenor too. Give me a little ooh. Show you right. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Very right. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this NFL Players Gospel Choir. How many people are on it, and who are some of the players? Oh, go ahead. Go. No, you, uh... Oh, okay. Well, right. we, we've had about, uh, man, you know, when we go to different cities and, and, and things like that, sometimes we, we, can, we bring on guys who who are closer to us and things like that. It's really a brotherhood, though, and, and I want that to be expressed. It's really a brotherhood because the, the goal is to bring guys who who are playing currently and are former players and bring them together. You know, there's a, there's a small group of us, you know, who played the game and who are still playing the game. And you bring us together and realize that we are all the same. We have one spirit, one common goal, and there's only one way we've made it 
to the to the pinnacle of sports, which is in the NFL. It's only one way we're still making it in our lives today, and that's through uh, being spirit driven and, and through the love of God. I gotta tell you, wonderful role models, and it's just not fair. You can't be good looking men with great athletic talents and beautiful voices, too. But... You are so nice. <laughs> thank, thank you, guys. Thanks, All right, and OJ Henry, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it so we'll much. We'll be right back. All right.